birth of Yeshua on the tree, two disciples were walking on a road to a village called Emmaus. As they were walking, they talked of the things they had seen and experienced. Another man soon joined them. It was the resurrected Yeshua, but their eyes were restrained, and they did not recognize him. Yeshua asked them, What are you talking about? Why are you so sad? Luke 24, verse 17 The two of them told him of the things concerning Yeshua of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, today is the third day since those things happened. Luke 24, verse 19 to 21. Then Yeshua answered them, Then he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken, ought not the Christ to have suffered these things to enter into glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. These two did not perceive comprehend or understand that Yeshua was in the Torah, the prophets, and the writings. Their minds were veiled to this truth. Then Yeshua unveiled and revealed this hidden truth to them. Don't you wish you could have listened in on that conversation? Wouldn't it have been amazing and mind-boggling? In this course, you will learn that Yeshua is found in the entire Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. It was Yeshua who was there in the very beginning at the creation of the heavens and the earth. It was Yeshua who made the covenant with Abraham. It is Yeshua who gave us the Torah, our marriage ketubah, at Mount Sinai. It is Yeshua who is the bridegroom betrothed to his people Israel or the house of Jacob. It is Yeshua who led the Hebrews out of Egypt, manifesting as the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. It is Yeshua who is the glory of God and the Shekinah. It is Yeshua who died on the tree to forgive the sins of the nation of Israel as well as the entire world. And it is Yeshua who will gather and unite the twelve tribes of Israel during the tribulation period. It is Yeshua who will rule and reign during the Messianic era as king over the whole earth, teaching the Torah to all nations from Mount Zion. In this course, you will also learn the basic principles of the Hebraic roots of Christianity, who is the house of Jacob, Is Torah for all believers in Yeshua? The two houses in the New Testament? A Hebraic perspective on the end of days. There is no other course like this. When you are finished, you will see Yeshua like you have never seen him before you will see how the Old Testament is linked and connected with the New Testament. You will understand how the Bible is one book when you truly see Yeshua from Genesis 
to Revelation. Like those on the road to Emmaus, when you have finished this course, your eyes will be opened. You will clearly understand how Psalm 40, verse 7, is written about Yeshua when it says, Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Take this course and begin your own journey on the road to Emmaus to have your eyes opened up to see Yeshua from Genesis to Revelation. These are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the Torah of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Oh, yeah.